charge of uh, the shuttle's uh, remote manipulator system for the grapple of the telescope. Okay, that's okay. It's maybe drifting slightly left. Uh, closure? Uh, we're stalling minus 0.05 at 151 feet. Okay, I just don't want to see the numbers get bigger. Okay, we're opening now, 155. Okay. I see you set up with body vector many, 5, pitch 270, yaw 0, omicron 0. Uh, and and I agree with that. that for a plus body yaw. What's that? I agree with you for a plus yeah. body yaw. This is a good entry. Okay. Okay. What's okay, what happened to my rod on the bottom? Yeah. Okay, we're switching the bottom. Okay, so the, the range jumped, but that's because I went to the bottom. So we jumped about... Mm -hmm. About one th yeah, 135 to the 40 to the bottom. Can we look at the monitor? Okay, that's not too bad. I can't. Can you do a subtended? Or... Say again, me? No, I'm good. You want a subtended off just, the bottom? Just for your brains, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's all below. Wait, are your numbers getting a little smaller or bigger? Smaller. Good program. Well, we just jumped us through. You're, we're yeah, still but I'm, holding. I just mean between the two numbers. 6.9, yeah, Drew. Like a foot at a time, nothing big. No. Okay. Still getting small. Good job. <laughs> that one stayed the same. 150 still, Megan? Um, it's a good question. We're shooting the bottom. We're exactly about 123 feet now. No, no, no. Off 135, the bottom. 135. 135, sorry. You're reading. I'm reading the wall. You're reading DT? Okay. Off the bottom of the telescope, right? 132, 132 off the bottom. Yeah, we're going to have to shut off the flood lights, I think. Maybe move it a little bit right, maybe. Break it, we copy 130 feet. Uh, okay, it's not seeing it there yet. So I shut off the uh, IMAX floods? Yeah, uh, that's what I'm thinking. It's going to reflect off the lights too much, maybe. Okay, reconfiguring glasses. Did you want to open back to 150 to do this maneuver? No, I don't want to have one. We've got pointers, negative pointers, six. So we're going to wait for inertia. Okay. We're not opening yet. About three minutes, screw for inertia. 350 miles above the Indian Ocean, uh, Atlantis uh, with the robotic arm uh, in the uh, in view, uh, closing in on the uh, Hubble Space Telescope directly underneath the telescope now that uh, the two vehicles are in the proper position for grapple. Inside 100 feet to uh, Hubble. Bridget, we copy, and uh, we're pulling down the KU right now, and we see that. Thank you. The bottom of uh, Hubble coming into view through the uh, remote manipulator systems end effector camera. This same view uh, uh, seen through one of the closed circuit televisions uh, up on the flight deck uh, of Atlantis. Commander Scott Altman uh, carefully positioning um, Atlantis uh, within uh, 35 feet or so of the uh, telescope and at that point uh, Megan MacArthur will uh, maneuver the robotic arm over the grapple pin to uh, secure Hubble uh, to the shuttle's robotic arm. The equipment uh, section uh, coming into view with the aft shroud of the telescope. Uh, behind those doors are the rate sensor units, essentially the gyroscopes that uh, control uh, the telescope's uh, attitude. The uh, white area, the uh, wide field planetary camera 2 uh, location, that uh, camera will be swapped on the first spacewalk of the mission replaced with a new improved wide field camera three. 
And just above that, coming into view, the forward shell of the telescope, the various uh, equipment bays that uh, provide all of the electronics packages uh, for the telescope. And the grapple fixture uh, now in view. Megan MacArthur now uh, repositioning the uh, shuttle's robotic arm to align with the grapple fixture on the telescope. Uh, Space Shuttle Atlantis, uh, all of its thruster jets have been inhibited. It's in free drift. Houston, we copy. Nice job, uh, Megan. Nice job on the Prox up flying as well. It's great to be back with the telescope. Thank you, Houston. Appreciate the support getting us here. Uh... Atlantis, Houston, uh, we're still verifying that the HST, the drift command took. Uh, we'll have words for you in just a moment. Okay, thanks, Dan. Everybody's uh, very excited up here, I can tell you. John, go ahead for HST. Yeah, I'm just looking out the window here, and it's an unbelievably beautiful sight. Uh, amazingly, the exterior of Hubble, an old man of 19 years in space, still looks in fantastic shape. We copy that. Thanks for those words. crew has been given a go uh, to uh, perform the uh, HST or Hubble berthing procedures. The uh, first step obviously is to maneuver the um, telescope to the flight support system hover position. Once uh, in position, uh, the uh, flight support system Closed circuit television setup uh, will take place. The crew will perform those tasks and then configure the um, FSS or flight support system for berthing. Megan MacArthur now uh, repositioning the Hubble Space Telescope uh, high above the uh, payload bay over the flight support system. There are three berthing latches that will uh, hold uh, the Hubble Space Telescope securely for all of the uh, servicing tasks. And Megan MacArthur now uh, releasing the telescope with the shuttle's uh, robotic arm, the end effector now um, backing away from the grapple fixture as the two uh, spacecraft uh, across the equator midway through the 32nd orbit of Atlantis's mission tracking southeasterly toward the southwest uh, coastline of uh, Africa. Houston, Atlantis for PDRS. We're ready to put HST survey and work on page 1-7 of the Flight Specific. Mass, we copy, and we're ready for the HST survey. Atlantis Houston, uh, Scooter, I think I owed you an answer on the forward starboard and forward port floodlight question. Uh, okay, yeah, I would. Uh, I had read the flight rules prior to flight, and it said uh, one and two with the time limits and smart port and starboard, so I just had a question on that. Yeah, that's uh, that's as we understand it. The uh, the forward port is the one that's flight rule restricted for time on. Uh, now we're down the forward starboard because apparently it doesn't illuminate. Well, that figures. It wouldn't be the one with the limits on it that would fail. Uh, noted. Thank you. And uh, we're having a little trouble getting the switch guard to stay. We got a booty on it. Uh, we may tape over it. No, that's fine. Whatever works for you. Um, we're ready for activate HST external power. Step one. Okay, good news. We'll put that in work. <laughs> 